I'm not doing billboards. You see, that's the whole point. People mm -hmm. are doing a, a few projects for the community. Mm -hmm. I am not doing the same. Mm -hmm. uh, the youth need to allow themselves, as, as we are growing also, mm -hmm. let us also try and get financial strength. Mm -hmm. All campaigns are, are, are pushed by finances. Yeah. Even if you look at Trump right now, he's looking for people who can... He's a billionaire, but yes. he's looking for people who can invest in his campaigns. Yes. And uh, that is what we need. And also the old Oazes should also entrust us. Uh, don't use us too much as your, eh, as your small boys in town. And uh, you want us to get positions so that you can use us. Also allow us to have a breathing space and assist our mm -hmm. fellow youth. Yes. yes. How would you rate uh, the youth that are in various leadership positions right now? Uh, out of 10, I'll mm -hmm. give them a 6. Mm -hmm. They're trying, yes. but as we said, the issue is uh, they have to dance to a tune. Mm -hmm. If they would not be dancing to that tune, or if they had their own political party, or if they had entered through in these systems through their own effort, mm -hmm. they would be fighting for their tune. Mm -hmm. But now, right now, you are told to vie by someone who was pushing you. Mm -hmm. And that is the biggest challenge we are having. Yeah. And the person has their own private and personal interests. Mm -hmm. So you'll have to dance to their tune and try to assist the youth where you can. Mm -hmm. Yes. What is the role or importance of mentorship when it comes to leadership, especially amongst the youth? Uh, you have to agree with me when we talk about mentorship mm -hmm. that we have a, a vacuum between the, uh, the people who are above 50 years. Yeah. We call them golden age leaders. Yes. Uh, above 50 years, now you can, you're supposed to start mentoring people down here. Mm. The people who are above 50 years, they're not mentoring people down here. For them, they want to maintain their position longer. Mm -hmm. So we have that vacuum whereby the people who are 50 and the people who are, been, let's say, below 35, mm. they're not being mentored by anyone. That's why we are having uh, the youths in a very funny dilemma whereby they're in the dark. Mm -hmm. They want the leadership, but even if they get to the leadership, they don't know what to do next. Mm -hmm. You get to the leadership, mm -hmm. the only thing that you'll be doing on TV and on, uh, and, 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 and on camera mm -hmm. is saying how God has brought you from poverty to leadership. Mm -hmm. God didn't bring you from poverty to leadership to keep telling us how he has brought you. Yes. <laughs> it's time to work for the people yes. because even more people are in that poverty that you are in, yes. it's time for you to work. Yes. It is not time for you to do photos on business class and telling us that now the Lord is good, the Lord is faithful. It yes. is time for you to work for us and also so that we can see the Lord is faithful to you. Yes. So that's, that's some of the challenges that you're having yes. by lack of mentorship. Mm -hmm. Because mentorship creates a leader. Yes. You cannot be a leader without mentorship. Uh -huh. You cannot. Because things that you want to do for the people have been done by others. Mm -hmm. You will not be the first to put water in your area. You will not be the first to create, uh, to build schools and classes in your area. Mm -hmm. People have done that in the past. Mm -hmm. And that is your duty to mm -hmm. do. So if it is your duty to do it, you need mentorship so that you can be able yes. to, to harness that and do it. Yes. yes. What is the place of self-confidence? Self-confidence, uh, 